Q&A Sunday. Come on lads and lasses, it's Q&A Sunday and I've got an absolute massive monster cold and I feel like gash on toast. But let's get this bad boy underway. Lopo Jr. asks, will you betray Man United and support Liverpool if they offer $100 million for you? Well, what I'd say to this is I'd rather be a poor red devil than a rich scouse moron. <laughs> MC Tuska asks, do you think second place is possible and do you think Gerard fucked it up again? <laughs> Roger Dodger asks, have you ever been to Wales? And what is that language they speak? I've never been to Wales, Roger, but they speak Welsh in Wales. I know it's a surprise, isn't it? I can't really do a good Welsh accent unless I sort of pretend that I'm Rod Gilbert. And then I can sort of do a Welsh accent, but then, oh, hang on, I'm going to, to, into fucking Scouts now, mate. How the fuck's that fucking happen, mate? That's not cool, mate. Did it started out walking Welsh, I've turned into Stephen Gerrard, mate. Bullshit. Oh, it slipped over. Shot Horse 24 asks, what's your favourite bathtub brand? What a fantastic question. Great question. I'd have to say Twyford, you know. You can't go wrong with a little bit of Twyford bathroom, can you? You know what I'm saying? This Body Likes Music 1 asks, what is your favourite colour? Well, this is a bit of an irrational like of mine, but my favourite colour is actually sky blue. <laughs> Bullshit. Red. Lawrence Taylor asks, how do you reckon we'll do away to Italy on Tuesday night? Everyone's ranting and raving about England after that, that game against Lithuania. You know, Wayne really scored, Welbeck scored, great performance from Sterling, you know, uh, Harry Kane's come on, scored after a few frickin' seconds. Great performance from us, wasn't it? We were playing frickin' Lithuania! Let's calm down, all right? We've got Italy on Tuesday, an actual team, um, and we always struggle against Italy, so I think we're gonna do well if we can get a frickin' draw from that game. I think we should just approach the game, attack, use our pace down the wings, try and cause some problems. We've got Rooney in form, we've got players in form, we've got forwards in form. We, got, we can frickin' score goals against Italy, no doubt about it. It's gonna be a tough game. Come on, England! But I do think it's gonna be a draw. Finn Fox Mills asks, would you rather have Ronaldo come back to United or Real Madrid's back four? Oh, it's a tough one. Real Madrid's back four would sort us right out, wouldn't it, right now? We've had a shocking couple of seasons defensively ready. We don't have the players, in my opinion. They've got some world-class talents in there. No doubt that would sort us right out. But just for the romance, just for the boost it gives to the fans of the club, I'd take Ronaldo back in a freaking second. They'd go out there, sign Hummels and another top-quality freaking centre back. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Shahul asks, United worst player this season so far? It's a tough one. We've had a, a few poor performers in there. We've also had a few good performers in there like De Gea, like Rooney recently when he's actually played in a freaking proper position. Um, so it's a tough one, but if one jumps out in my mind, which is Johnny Evans, just because he's the most experienced defender we've got. He looks like the, the least experienced freaking defender we've got a lot of the time, making silly mistakes. Um, doing stupid things like spitting at players and you know he's had an absolute man this season Johnny Evans hasn't he sort your freaking life out Johnny I actually don't think he should stay at United I think he's one of the players that you should Louis van Gaal should look to move on in the summer as we look to sign a top quality centre back like a Hummels or somebody like that what do you think about Johnny Evans staying at the club would you keep him on just as that most experienced player that we've got do you think this is just a blip in terms of his career and he can improve I think he's gash but let me know what you think thanks for the question Zachary hashtag Herrera asks who's better Herrera Herrera or Carrick? Well, I'm guessing you think Herrera. I think they're both really good players, actually. I think Herrera's record for United so far this season has been undeniably good. Michael Carrick, though, just that experience and that reliability, I think he's probably right now the better midfielder out of the two. He's the one that would make my starting lineup um, if I had to choose between the two of them. But I think both of them together can play very well. Uh, definitely have them as the two in my midfield. I don't see why not. Um, but I think Herrera's got the potential to be a top quality midfielder, as Michael Carrick is. Look, Michael Carrick's just massively underrated, and I've said it many times before. Doesn't get the credit he deserves. I consider him to be a top quality midfielder, but as most people just don't even consider him that way, because what he does, he does very well. He does it quietly, gets on with his job, doesn't put a foot wrong, never too flash, but always freaking reliable. Michael Carrick, so for me, I'd choose him on my side, but who's better? I don't know, maybe Herrera in the future, but right now, I'd give it to Mickey C. Jake the J-Man asks, who do you think is winning the Divas Tag Team match at WrestleMania tonight? I'll be honest, I haven't seen it for a while, but I'm going to give it to Tristratus and Lita. Uh, yeah, I haven't watched it for a while, as you can probably guess, but uh, let's just take a moment to think about Tristratus back in the day. Oh, my days. Oh, yeah. That's why I liked wrestling growing up. 
Jason Cleveley asks, which of United players out on loan would you want back to stay? It's a tough question. I mean, we've got Nani out at Sporting Lisbon doing quite well. So I hear over in the, the Portuguese league. If he come back to United and sort his freaking life out, I'd keep him around because I remember him being an absolute match winner at one point. I thought he's going to be one of the best players in the world. Then he had absolute mares and has had absolute mares for the last couple of seasons at United. But he's one that could potentially on his day be an absolutely top quality player if he gets his head right. Don't see why not. Then you've got Javier Hernandez over at Real Madrid. I'd definitely have him back at United as our third or fourth choice striker. Great option to have from the bench. Would he be happy with that? Probably not. But he's gone to Real Madrid to play a freaking bit part. What's he going to do? Go down to Everton or something to get first team action? I don't know. Just stay at United, freaking lad. Come on. Be the honor kind of show shot of your generation. Uh, I'd definitely have him back. Love the guy. Very marketable in terms of sort of commercially, globally. Uh, Mexico, Central America, whatever. You've got to be freaking loving a bit of Javier Hernandez. Stand up guy, I'd have him in the side. And then of course there's Tom Cleverley, who's very underrated, doesn't get the credit he deserves. And <laughs> almost managed to keep it together there. Jog on Clevs. Kenneth Salu asks, you seem to have a decent voice. Do you sing? <laughs> The song goes something like this Something like this So there we have it. That was my Q&A Sunday video. Thank you to you guys for watching and sending in questions as per usual. It's much appreciated. Sorry if I... <laughs> so that was my Q&A Sunday video. Thank you to you guys for sending in questions. You're all a bunch of legends. It's much appreciated. Sorry if I didn't get around to answering yours. Uh, but please keep commenting below using the hashtag AskThePig. And hopefully I'll get around to using that in my upcoming Q&A. You can also tweet me at MrFlyingPigHD using the hashtag AskThePig. Uh, check out the link in the description to Campo Retro. Awesome football retro shirts you can uh, check out. And this weekend... Use the promo code EGG, that's EGG, for up to 35% off their already reasonably priced stuff. So that's a good deal. Check that out in the uh, description, guys. And thank you very much for watching. Comment below, chuck a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel.